All right, welcome back to the studio. Today we are going to be dopping the gemstones that we preformed uh, in the last lesson. So without further ado, let's get started. To start with, I have two different things that you will need. Uh, this is a dop station and I have it on. It's melted the wax here. You can touch it for a brief moment. It's about 160 degrees. And I have an alcohol lamp which you can see is burning here. This was actually a challenge. I'm in California and for some reason we're not allowed to have denatured alcohol anymore uh, because of the high VOC content. And However, it's very clean burning. So when you're burning it, it's actually not that big of a problem. Uh, the other thing you want to have handy is a bucket of water for cooling your fingers with. You'll need your stones. You'll need to decide which end you're going to dop. I'm going to be dopping the rose quartz here on the pavilion first. So I'm using a cup style dop. I'm going to dop the smoky quartz on the crown first. So I'll be using a flat dop. I also have an extra dop here. This is a cone shaped one. And this is going to help me to line up the dops on the first try. And this is a dopping jig. It's called transfer jig, but I also use it in dopping and you'll see why in just a minute. Okay, first I'm going to do the rose quartz. To start out with, I'm going to put the end of the dop stick here into the pot so I can get warm. I set this on the edge so we can get warm. You'll get better adhesion if the rose quartz is, is hot. You don't want it too hot. It doesn't take very long. And then what I do is just kind of get some, some wax here around the end, like so. Now I'm going to take it over here and bring this candle over here so we can see this better. Okay, so my flame here. So I'm going to hold this over the flame. My stone is already nice and warm. When you're pushing the dop stone onto the dop, sorry, when you're pushing the stone onto the dop, you want to get it so that it's actually pressing against the metal. So I've got my wax to the point where it's glossy. And now I'm just going to push my stone on really hard. Now this is the part where the first thing you're going to notice is it's really easy for the stone to get crooked. And that's what the transfer jig is for. You don't want the wax to burn. Uh, so if it starts smoking, you're getting it too close to the, to the flame. A little bit more there on the edge. This, this part takes a lot of patience. So I've come over to my transfer dig and I have a flat dop on this side. It's not screwed in tight. I have my stone here. And very carefully, I want to try and get the wax warmed up a little bit here. I'm going to put this in the transfer jig here, screw it down, push this across, and immediately this is pushing against the face. Now that I have this tightened down, my hands a little wet here, I'm going to grab a pinch of wax, and I'm going to put some more wax across this. We need to support the entire pavilion of the stone. So I'm wrapping, wrapping some wax around there. That should be enough for now. I 
Now, what I'm going to do is warm this up. Very hot. You need water on your fingers, that helps. I like using the transfer jig for this because I can push the wax around the stone. I can really take my time and the stone is not going to move. So I don't have to worry about it coming loose. You wouldn't want to do this on really sensitive and heat sensitive stones. You don't want to be a little more careful. Okay, so now I can undo this. Take this off, and I'm pretty happy with the way the wax is around the stone. But I want to get it down around the top shaft a little better, so I'll go back to heating. It's too hot. Get my hands wet here, and. It's glossy, I'll just warm this around like that. So the idea here is to give your, your stone a lot of support around the base. You don't want to hear any clicking or wiggling. And there you go. So now we do the same thing with the smoky quartz. The reason on the smoky quartz I'm going to be on this one, fastening to the head first, is because if I were to you look at this preform here, the very point on the bottom is not centered. So if I were to cut from this with this centered about the top stick, I would end up having to reform the whole top. So instead, I'm going to try to center it on the top and cut the bottom first. So to do that, we just repeat the steps. So we'll start out here with the stone on the rim, get it warmed up, get the top stick warmed up. That usually doesn't take more than a minute. Uh, you want to keep checking your stone. It should be hot to the touch, but not too hot to burn you. It's already warm. It's only been on there for about 10, 15 seconds. And this is a pretty big stone. So once you're happy with that, set the camera down here so you'll be able to see what I'm doing here in just a second. I'm going to grab the top stick over here, get my wax on it. I bring it over here. And I've, I've done this, I've already formed it around. Now you got to be quick here so your stone doesn't cool off too much. I don't want to get wax nice and toasty, where it's glossy and a little bit runny. And now I'm going to try to line that up there. This part, I've got to get the middle part. So I'm going to put this down here.
Now, now that I've got this on here with a rectangle, it can be a bit trickier I'm trying to line up this axis here about that so that it's centered. If I don't have it centered, then when I do the cutting, it's uh, I'm going to lose a lot of material here. So do just same thing I did last time. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, this is one way to do it, <laughs> uh, and I might I might decide to change that later down the road. Um, you can also use super glue to put a stone on, um, but even those that use super glue usually go back later and add epoxy. So I think what I want to do here is do this one mostly freehand because otherwise I don't think it's going to sit very clean. Okay, so after fussing around a bunch here, I've got my three stones. I managed to do it without burning my fingers at all. I'm pretty happy with how they're they're on there. Um, Whatever you cut the first side at, you just have to remember that the next side will then have to be recut to match. So I had a flat face on, on this preform, and if I got it up against this piece of metal nice and flat, then this part right here will cut to match that. However, if it's tilted even slightly, which appears it might be tilted a degree or so, then when I transfer this stone to the other dop, uh, so I can cut the crown, it will have to, I have to make sure that I get that other dop on there just right so that the crown facets line up with the pavilion facets. Same goes for the round here. And this is another stone I had. I'm just going to cut this one as well. So thanks for watching. After this, I'll be doing the first grind on, on uh, these three stones, and we'll go from there.